everyone, uh, this is Ahmed Kesar and uh, we are about to start restoring another Mercedes W126. Uh, this is identical to the one we've done before. It so happens that they are twin cars. Uh, same color, same specs, everything. And this one's been standing for a very long time as well. <clears throat> we are about to start working on the mechanics. Uh, get all the mechanical stuff done and then take it in for uh, uh, paint work, uh, you know, interior, all those kind of things. So I'm just, uh, just a quick video on what it's like before we start the work. This thing's been standing for a long time, you can see with all the dust and uh, otherwise it's uh, in good working condition but uh, you know the usual stuff Oil changes, filters, belts, plugs, coils, uh, check the fueling system, uh, you know, fix up the interior, things like these that are broken, like in the previous one, pieces of the wood trim, uh, one of the motors is missing from the power, from the seats, you know, the power seats. But other than that, I mean, it's an intact car. It's, uh, Given its age, it's not in bad shape. Sorry, there's a lot of stuff lying here, so can't show you everything. But yeah, this one has the same problem as the previous one that it has a fair amount of <coughs> fungus buildup on the gauge cluster. Uh, so yeah, it still has its old Mercedes stereo system inside it. AC doesn't work, the compressor is completely conked out. We'll have to put in a new compressor. Let's give it a start and see what it's like. So this car has been standing for a long time and I'm starting it for the first time actually. I, I, I'm doing this for the video. So let's see. Wow. Pretty cool. And the cool thing is there are fewer error lights on this than the previous one. We just have the wiper washer light the last one we restored had the SRS light, the ASR light, brake lights, brake wear light, um, radiator coolant, but we didn't have this light, the battery light on the previous one. So we have to check this out, what's happening over here. I don't think there's anything wrong with the charging because it started instantly. It's, uh, so anyway, we'll have to see. Other than that, the yeah, the lighting isn't too good, so we'll have to check that. Can't really see anything. And the switch isn't working properly. The accelerator is a bit sticky. I have to really push it down for it to move. But yeah, the engine sounds good. Let's go take a look under the hood. Yeah, the engine needs some good detailing. We'll uh, change all the usual stuff. The leaves, the belts we've already changed because they were pretty worn out. I didn't want to start it on the old belts. The filters will all be replaced. Uh, general checkup of everything. I think I don't think there's any issue with the ABS on this car, but anyway, we'll check it out. Already uh, opened up the radiator and make sure that's okay. Anyway, that's what the engine bay looks like. You know, there's a lot of rust on the chrome. The emblems are missing, the wiper blades are missing. The lights are all intact though. That's a good thing. And yeah, if you, if you move out and look from here, the rear suspension is really sagged. So we'll have to replace the shocks and also have a look at the coil springs. It's really sitting low from the rear. Uh, the antenna is missing. Power antenna. I'm going to replace the real tail lights. Although these ones are intact, but you know, new lights will give it a fresh look. The rear emblem is missing.
you know, <clears throat> wheel monogram missing, refresh these wheels. We already got a new set of tires for this car. You know, this wood trim is missing from here. So anyway, just wanted to share a first video before we actually start work on this car. And then of course, as we go along and complete it, I'm gonna post another one uh, showing what kind of work we've done. All right, thank you everyone. Till the next video, bye bye.